Hello, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to begin? We have less than one minute before this thing takes off, and we'll have a chance to see if we can get the prize pool. Well, hello, there's newcomers out there. D. Sean, I'm your host, going to be guiding you through tonight's gauntlet. Well, general knowledge test, checking your information, headspace, how's everything going? If you can manage to get enough of those statements right, to get your prize pool. So, 10 statements, general knowledge test, so everything from geography, politics, history, all mashed up together. What matters for you, 7 out of 10 gets you the prize pool, meaning you can make up to 3 mistakes, so even if you make a mistake or two, still continue, plow on. Never know, might as well tease your brain, fill your pocket at the same time. If you get your prize pool, qualify $2,000 online share across all the winners in our cash and golden chips. Just need to get 7 out of 10 right, and then of course, if you're still willing to have a little bit of extra fun, there's going to be hyperlinks sending you to football roulette. But first things first, ladies and gentlemen, looks like timer is almost up, so hopefully you have your thinking hats on. Let's dive into the first statement. Well, let's see how hard this trivia is because the sports ones are usually pretty tough. Let's go. First one. Karen Nall is the local name of a county of Northumberland. True or false? Karen Nall. First time that I'm hearing this name, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe some British folks out there, maybe from this uh, alleged Karen Nall place. Is it good or is it bad? Is it a good popular tourist spot or not? Well, by now, ladies and gents, falls this one. But I do believe Cornwall does jive your brain a little bit, ladies and gents. That's the ye olde native way how to say Cornwall. It is care now. So, it looks like now you know. Half of you guys are right. Let's keep moving on with the second one. Let's see if it gets easier or harder. Reese is a famous American brand of peanut butter chocolate treats. True or false? Now, Reese's. Is it the same as Reese's? Some kind of some kind of cups. I don't know. Maybe you have tasted it. Maybe you do know. I do believe this is quite a popular brand out there. Oh, looks like this one was a little bit easier. Four out of five out of you out there got this one right true out there. Reese's peanut butter cups. Pretty good. Try them out. Maybe not every day, but you know, once in a month or maybe once in a two months, definitely can give a treat. Let's keep moving on with the third one. So, Salvador Dali was an impressionist artist. True. Or false. Now, another name probably jogs your mind, but uh, regarding the specific art style, was he an impressionist artist? Hopefully, you do know out there, ladies and gents. Not too many beans that I can spill on this one, as I'm not too fond and too uh, not too much into my art. Well, this one's false, ladies and gents. I do believe there were some pieces that were impressionist art, but other than that, I think it was surrealism. I think it was surrealism out there. Well, let's keep going, and keep in mind you can make up to three mistakes and still qualify the prize pool, so keep that in mind. Let's go. Fourth one. The Elgin marbles are also known as Parthenon sculptures. True or false? Now, a little bit of what would this would be like architecture or something like that, or history with a tinge of architecture? Well, maybe folks out there do know. As I'm saying, general knowledge, this test is everything from a wide cross. True, apparently, and by the looks of it, as I search for the pictures, looks kind of fine. Would like to have that in my house as well. Probably cost a pretty penny out there. Well, irregardless of that one, four fifths of you got some right. Let's keep moving. There's still six more left to go to the prize pool. The rock drawings at Val Camornica are the province of Piedmont. True or false? Sorry for butchering those names a little bit. Not a native tongue out there for getting them done, but regarding those rock drawings of Val Camornica. Hmm. Maybe anybody out there from uh, Valcamonica out there? No? Well, it seems like this one's uh, false, ladies and gentlemen. So not exactly from province of Piedmont. I do believe it was a different province. So, well, halfway through, how hard could it be? Seems like a couple of the previous ones were a bit difficult. Let's keep moving on to the sixth one. So, C.S. Lewis wrote The Lion, The Witch, and The Audacity, no, and The Wardrobe. So, true or false? Ladies and gentlemen, answer C.S. Lewis. Definitely a famous author out there. Probably have heard about uh, the first two names, and maybe out there on the internet you have heard the last part of it actually. Well, you know, a little bit. True is indeed the wardrobe, although we have probably heard it in different contexts out there. Well, it seems like three out of four people got this one right. Not too bad, still majority hanging in there. Let's keep plowing. Four more left to go to the prize pool. So, the seventh one. Drew Barrymore is the star of the series Santa Clarita Diet. True or false? Drew Barrymore, a lady by the name. Not sure if I would immediately answer that one. So, which one is this one? Is it true or is it false? Answer quick, final seconds there. 
Correct statement on this one, absolutely true. As few other places out there, Drew Merrimore is definitely an actress, a good star out there. It seems like this one was the toughest, it's only half you've got some right, but, well, you only need seven to qualify for the prize pool. Let's keep shoveling, let's keep going with the eighth one. So, Antenna 3 is Spanish TV channel. True or false? Absolutely no clue, not living in, Sp in Spain per se. Maybe some Spaniards out there could share us, ladies and gents. If not, 50-50 chance for you to get this one right and continue moving on and maybe share the prize pool. So, last seconds. Correct statement for the eighth one is true. Seems like we do have plenty of Spaniards out there, or at least, well, half of you, more than half of you guys from right. All the penultimate out there, ladies and gents. We're almost there. All right, let's get this done and done with it. So, the ninth statement. King Michael led a coup in Romania in 1944. True or false? So, coup d'etat, did he lead it? King Michael first. No clue. Not a Romanian per se as well out there. But maybe we have some Romanians out there that could let us know. Well, the correct one, ladies and gents, is true. He did lead it. He was a king before the events of 1940s and then 1944 and going on, he was a king as well, although there were some applications or something like that as well. Well, nonetheless, 10th one. Let's get it done. Vicus George is the deepest gorge in the world. True or false? Not canyon per se, but gorge. Yes, I know there's a little bit of specificity regarding that one, and if you're in the clue regarding geology, I have to use the right terminology. Correct statement for this one? Apparently false, as it is not. Well, it seems like um, a little bit less than half you got some right, but 46 out there managed to get 10 out of 10 right. My hat's off to you, ladies and gents. Out of more than 4,000 people, 46 is absolutely top notch. But 1,598 managed to get enough, 7 out of 10 right to qualify for the prize pool. So the $2,000 in hard cash and Chips will be shared across all the winners. And of course, if you want to enjoy yourself more, I do believe there should be a link towards football roulette. But that's it for me today, ladies and gents. I'll see you back some other time, some other futures. Take care for now and Deshaun out. Cheers.